Hi, my name is Matt and I'm from Nokia, part of the field team. And quickly, I just want to show you the first uh, Nokia Windows phone. So this is the Lumia 800. Um, so the first thing I really want to go through is all about the hardware. Uh, so what it does, is it gives you a single piece of, of polycarbonate, that's the casing of the, the actual phone. You'll see that there's no lines, it's all completely seamless and it is just one piece. It has got a curved um, hardened glass screen, which is running a clear black display. Now the attention to detail on the phone is actually fantastic. So it's things like your, all your, your holes for the, the loudspeaker at the bottom all individually drilled. To access your USB charging port, you basically just push that little bit out of there, and there's your port. And your SIM card tray, you push across, and it'll pop up. So then it is running the uh, Windows Mango update. So that obviously gives you a series of live tiles. One that I really want to point out is the People Hub. So on here you'll have your Facebook status update at the top with your profile picture and it will then link in with all of your uh, Facebook friends. Uh, I can then scroll across to what's new and then that gives me a live feed of Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. But you can actually filter that just to show um, any, any set of one that you want. So just Facebook for instance. The other thing to talk about is the IE9 web browser. So it basically gives you the same web browsing experience that you receive on your PC. Um, and it's, it's pretty blazingly fast, so what you basically have is the harder acceleration in the i9 web browser will render the pages a lot quicker um, and get you actually onto the internet. And then the other thing to talk about is um, the Lumia experience, and that's what's basically something that's unique to Nokia. So as well as the hardware, you also have Nokia Drive. So Nokia Drive uh, effectively is a turn-by-turn -turn satellite navigation, but it's optimised for driving, so it will have nice big buttons um, so you're not having to sort of go through some sort of little menus and that sort of thing. So it's really just for quick access to, to the uh, actual menu itself. Is there street names on there also? Yeah, complete street names are on there as well. And it's all you uh, tap in the postcode um, and away you go. Um, essentially, it's the same, the same body as the N9, um, except what you'll see is you have a, the camera key at the top there, which is a thing that Windows Phone needs to have. Um, and then it's also... You know, it's little things like the flash is, is on the N9 is up there and it's now there. So we've taken some learnings from the N9 and actually put it into to the uh, Lumia 800. So it's going to be available um, in November um, for uh, a few countries in Europe. And the pricing, uh, I believe, is about 430 euros around that cinema. But that doesn't include taxes or subsidising. So Nokia Music. Effectively, it's, it's free music on the go. Um, so what it would do is it, it would give you a list of genres which you can then stream um, music to. Um, so I can go into it, it's called Mix Radio. So I can load that up. It would then give me my list of genres. And then it also gives you um, sub-genres within that as well. And the, the, the beauty of it is that you can actually download your genre um, and play it in offline mode. So I can download it at home on Wi-Fi and then if I'm going into, into London on the tube, I get no signal at all. It's all, it's all actually saved on my phone. Um, with the Nokia Music Store is currently about 14 million um, tracks on there. Um, so there's quite a lot of local uh, content as well. So I can find some maybe undiscovered acts on there and things like that. But then you have all the big acts as well. So it's, it's a pretty unique offering actually. Uh, so this is Nokia's new um, uh, Lumia 800. Uh, it is a brilliant piece of kit, excellent design. And it's actually coming very, very soon within the next few weeks.